What do you mean it's got nothing to do with you? It was one of your customers, for heaven's sake, Eric. Notice it's my customers when we're discussing problems and our customers when we're considering the profits. Alice was fast asleep when that lout barged his way upstairs. You know, anything could have happened to her. Well, why bring up a child in an unsuitable environment in the first place? Hey! Have I missed some Oh, Betty, some drunk found his way up to the flat last night. He didn't do anything, did he? No. I think that's why she's so upset. Oh, you're despicable. Eric Pollard, that could have been some Mad Axe murderer up there, and then where would we be? Well, I know where you'd be. You'd be outside spreading the lurid details to everybody. I don't want Alice living in fear of drunken strangers coming into her home in the middle of the night. <laughs> well, I thought she'd be used to that by now. Poor little mite has a right to feel safe. I want that flat securer than Fort Knox by this afternoon, and guess who's footing the bill? My dear girl, are we going about this the right way? No lock in the world will stop an intruder who really wants to get in. So then what do you suggest I do? Move. Back five minutes and it feels like I've never been away. Oh, go on. It's only the world of good and you know it. <laughs> yeah, sometimes a change of scenery helps put everything into perspective. You know, you and my dad should get away sometime. Oh, aye. Ah, his idea of adventure is a trip into Hotton Market. <laughs> you must be joking. Far too busy to have fun. <laughs> I suspect Zoe was pleased to see you back. Well, she was until I went and put my foot in it about her and Sophie. I mean, you might have told me they'd split up. Well, didn't seem worth mentioning. See you later. Oh, hold on a minute, Dad. Can I get a lift in? He'll get a move on. We're spinning the lambs this morning. Not worth mentioning. Mum, I've never seen Zoe so upset. Anyway, I'll see you later. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Looks like I've caught you alone at last. Tara will be here any second. Better make the most of you, then. Kim, there's no point to this. It's going nowhere. Well, does it have to? Why can't we just enjoy a little harmless fun? Because I'm about to be married. Something you forgot when you were jumping into my bed. That was a mistake and I won't let it happen again. Really? Alex, where are you? In here, darling. Here you are. Hello, Kim. I'm sorry, I forgot you were coming. Kim was just saying perhaps we ought to sell him, release some of our capital for investment. Alex wants something with a little more uh, stamina. Oh, you can't sell him. He's a fantastic horse. We can't afford to grow fond of our breeding stock, Tara. You know best. I can see I'm in the way. I'll leave you to it. Actually, Tara, it was you I came to see. I wonder if you fancy going for a ride. Give us a chance to get to know each other. Oh, well, I was going into Harrogate. Perhaps another time. But that could wait. I'd be delighted. I'll just go and change. Oh, and we're low on ketamine as well. Right. Is everything ready for the Sugdens this afternoon? Mm-hmm. It's all in the car. Right, I'll see you later. Zoe? Yeah? I'm really sorry about you and Sophie. I didn't mean to put my foot in it like that. No, I know you didn't. Do you want to talk about it? Well, it's nothing to tell. Sophie's mum turned up, took her away, and I miss her. It's as simple as that. Something else that went there. I mean, did her mum just turn up out the blue? Look, Linda, it really doesn't matter anymore. Zoe, what happened? Linda, if you must know, your mother wrote her a letter. She what? Telling her that Sophie and I were involved. And that's the reason Sophie left. I can't stay late tonight. I'll have to get off about tea time. Oh, it's harder than it looks this farming like, isn't it? I've got a life too, you know. I want to spend some time with Joseph. You look knackered. You want holiday. It's done wonders for our Linda and Biff. They come back like newlyweds. I can't remember what that feels like. Come on, Ned, let's get on. Yeah, you can't be it's already to put a bit of spice back in your marriage. I'll see you down there. He seems a bit touchy lately. You know, seems a bit unsettled. What makes you say that? I love what he said when she comes back. I think he's missing her somewhat rotten. Hey, you. Zach, see you. What do you want me to shove this lot? Uh, don't tempt me. Over here, it'll do fine. Give us that, then. Oh. Well, it seems to be coming on at last. Any problems I should know about? Problems? We don't know what meaning it word. <laughs> Any chance of being in by Christmas? This year or next? <laughs> A joke. Aye, barring anything unforeseen. 
The back bedroom's mine, so try not to ruin it. What about the nipper? Have you chosen the nursery yet? Don't you know? What? Has something happened? Did I speak out of turn? Emma! Jerry isn't with us anymore. She's gone to foster parents. Why? Because Emma felt she couldn't cope. Oh, I'm sorry. So am I. I better go. Right. I need this lot upstairs. Get it shifted. You what? You heard. Where do you think you're going? Oh! I'm more trouble than I'm worth, remember? Oh, come on, Zach. We were only kidding, mate. It'll not take long with three on us. It's right. Come on. Oh! Ah. Oh, that wind must be coming from south again, son. I've done my back in. Make a start and I'll follow you. Oh. Oh. I'm not moving out of my own home just because Eric finds me an inconvenience. He doesn't. I'm sure he's just thinking of your best interests. You don't know your husband terribly well, do you? I know that sometimes things don't come out the way he means them to. He doesn't deserve you. And Alice doesn't deserve this every night. Perhaps you should at least think about living somewhere else. Oh, well, thank you, Dee. I'll bear that in mind. Kathy? <sighs> Everything all right? Everyone just seems to be blaming me for what happened last night. Oh, no, they're not, love. But you could make sure it doesn't happen again. And moving out, you mean? Now, I hate to agree with Eric Pollard, and I'm sure he's full of the worst of intentions, but... He has got a point. Not you as well, Betty. I need someone on my side. You need to get that. That's what I pay you for. Yeah. Sorry. Home Farm Estates. Mr. Hunter. Wait a minute. Not here. You what? I'm not. Tell him I'm indisposed. He's not here. He's gone to the toilet. Takes him ages with his chair and that. Try tomorrow. You check? Oh, yeah. It's in the post. Signed it myself this morning. Should be with you in two days at the latest. My pleasure, Mr Hunter. Any time. Bye-bye. You're getting the hang of this. Let's look at those letters. There you go. Well, your typing's improving. Must be nearly, what, a word a minute? <laughs> I never claimed I was Secretary of the Year. No, your dictation's lousy. You can't do shorthand and... Well, your telephone manner, well, it's laughable. I'm trying my best. Why don't you send me on some kind of course if you think I'm doing such a bad job? Did I say that? I don't know how I ever manage without you. I'm confused. Kelly, you have invaluable qualities that can't be taught at Secretarial College. Oh, yeah? Like what? Well, let me see. Anyone seen Kim? No, and can't you ever knock? Oh, I'm sorry, I was under the impression that this was where people worked. Kim is off, chasing after that fop again. She's really got the hots for him. If you ask me. If you ask me, the difference between you and Kim is that she knows what it takes to run a business. Yeah, she's mixing business with pleasure, isn't she? <laughs> Not something you'd have a problem with. Was there anything else? Tell Kim I'll see you later. If she gives a damn. <laughs> Must be going. Some of us have got lives to be getting on with. Right, very well. I was given my first penny before I could walk. How about you? I had to wait a little longer for mine. Thank you for being so good to Alex, Kim. How do you mean? The stud's been in the family for generations, always been terribly successful until Alex took over the reins. Why is that? He just hasn't got the head for it. Loves horses, hasn't got a clue when it comes to making money. It would have gone under without you. Yeah, well, we couldn't let that happen, could we? He might not show it, but I know he's very grateful. So, all set for the big day? Oh, hardly. 
To tell you the truth, I'm absolutely terrified of getting cold feet. Oh, God, no! I adore Alex. It's just the thought of walking down that aisle with half of Yorkshire staring at me. I just want everything to be perfect. I'm sure it will be. Oh, we'd better be heading back. I've got the caterers arriving any minute. Well, let's take a shortcut. How's your jumping? Oh, try me. And another Mandy. Was Mala? He's having a disagreement with a pile of cement. <laughs> <laughs> Could take all afternoon. What else shaving? A uh, note. Think again. Oh, no thanks, love. I've just got me apple. What about you? Yeah, I can't eat at dinner time. It slows me down. Not as much as a broken leg will. Oh, go on then. Show us menu. <sighs> Eric, we can't drive her out if she doesn't want to go. Why ever not? Sometimes I'm not sure when you're being serious. Well, of course I'm not. It doesn't hurt to plant the idea in her head, does it? But where would she live? Well, who cares? <laughs> Just so long as we don't have to listen to her endless trivial whining. But, Eric, it's their home. And it's restricting our business. The sooner we get rid of her little shirley temple, the easier it'll be for us to run our business the way we see fit. You look tired. Yes, I must admit the idea of a siesta did cross my mind. Mine too. Let's go. Darling, do you mind if we really did sleep? I don't know what's come over me. I'm absolutely exhausted. No, that's fine. Don't worry about it. You sleep. I just can't believe she'd do that. I mean, what business is it of hers? What Zoe and Sophie get up to in their own home? Lynn, you're better off staying out of it. You're only going to make things worse. You know, I look at my mum now, and all I see is this interfering old busybody. She never used to be like that, you know. Well, you know what they say. If you want to see how your wife's going to turn out, just look at her mother. Yes, thank you, Biff. Very helpful. Well, it's not as though you're going to undo the damage now, is it? No. No. Well, I can have a damn good try, can't I? How was your trip to London? Successful. Had to cut it a bit short, though. Why is that? Kim begged me to come back. Said she was missing me too much. She's obviously devoted to you. Yeah. Cheers. Alex! Alex, quick! Where's Tara? There's been an accident. She's had a fall. For God's sake, phone an ambulance. I'll do it. Yeah, ambulance, please. Time to. I've had to shift the whole army, Todd. Miss me lunch. Oh, well, I'll get you on then, son. Thanks. There you go. A bunch. Hang on a sec. What? It's the wrong kind of cement. Oh, very funny. No, no, that's ready mixed and I wanted ordinary. Zach Dingle can't even do the simplest of jobs. You are joking, aren't you? I'm afraid not. The whole lot will have to come out and go back to the yard. Well, I'm not doing it. Boss's orders, son. Oh, you look like Charles Atlas by the time you've finished. Look like a proper mug, you mean. I've had it. That's enough. You can stop your stupid job. Have you heard from Sarah lately, Jack? Um, not for a couple of days, no. Still, I mean, it must be hard for you both, you know, living in each other's pockets and then suddenly she's off and you're having to cope on your own. Well, I just take each day as it comes. Still, I mean, absence does make the heart grow fonder. Wouldn't you say so, Zoe? 
I wouldn't know, Linda. Well, you agree with me, Jack, don't you? What are you asking me for? Look, you see yourselves off, can't you? I don't know what game you're trying to play, but you should have left Jack out of it. I didn't realise how much he was missing her. Nearly as much as you're missing Sophie. Sophie's made her choice, and there's nothing I can do to change her mind. Zoe, you could swallow your pride and pick up the telephone. It's over, she's gone. Now I've learned to accept that, surely you can. Her wrist's probably broken and she's concussed. What the hell happened? Tara was anxious not to miss an appointment, suggested a shortcut. And before I could stop her, she was hurtling towards the gate. Anyone could see it was far too high. Thank God you were with her. She could have been lying there for hours. I have to thank you for acting so quickly. She'd do the same for me. Oh, God. What? The wedding. What am I going to do? Well, there's no way she's going to recover by tomorrow. I have no choice in. I'll have to call it off. Hang on. Poor Tara. She will be disappointed. And right now, I think that's the least of her worries. Do you still find me attractive? <laughs> Absolutely ravishing. It's just that uh, you don't seem very attentive to me these days. Oh, don't be silly. <laughs> but it can't always be wine and roses, though, can it, eh? I mean, we've got the endless grind of the real world imposing relentlessly upon us. Why don't we get away? We could go back to Whitby for the weekend. The second honeymoon. <laughs> Darling, <laughs> we've only just had the first one. Indeed, we'll always have Whitby. And when things have sorted themselves out here, I'll whisk you away before you can see Jack Robinson. Well, why don't we ask Cathy to look up tonight while we have an early night? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Excellent idea. <laughs> I'm absolutely exhausted. Eric! It seems to me if you're going to be tired all the time, we should advertise for more stuff. <laughs> and increase our overheads. What's got into you? You could always move in with us, you know, pair of it. Just till you found your feet. Oh, that's very kind of you, Betty, but isn't it? that poor little Jerry Cairns into care. Well, I'd hate to see the same thing happen to Alice. <laughs> well, why on earth would it? Well, it seems to me that if you forget to bother your kids these days, social services take them off you. No, she's growing up, love. She needs space. And for her sake, you should at least think about it. Right, well, I'll get off. I'll see you tomorrow. Part-timer. We got on tonight, then? A quiet night in with the only dependable bloke I know. Joseph. <laughs> Cheers, love. Have fun. Bye. She's a lovely lass, you know, Jack. It's a shame she hasn't found the right man. Although she's been with her, they've been complete prats. I wouldn't have thought it was any of our business. Look what she's had to put up with. Chris Tate, that yuppie Steve bloke. I mean, so one chance thrown the tower and then got to join Zoe's mob. Have you got anything better to worry about? All I'm saying is she's a lovely girl and she deserves a nice bloke for once in her life. Was your dad not eating? He's working nice at Jack's. Oh, that was your first day back at work, love. What do you care? <laughs> I'm only asking. I'm lucky to still have a job after what you did. What do you mean? Don't give me that, Mum. Uh, Linda. Zoe told me about your spiteful little letter. Did she now? Well, I don't expect you to understand. Oh, I understand all right. You just can't stop sticking your nose in if there's anyone with half a chance of being happy. Is that what you think of me? I'll have you know I did that for my grandson. Sophie proves she is not fit to look after him. Why not? Well, that child is enough going against him as it is being brought up in that circus at home farm. He needs something normal in his life. Well, God forbid if you ever manage to get your hands on him. I do my best for this family. And this is the thanks I get. Well, you can get your own flaming supper. Nice one, Linda. Oh, I'm sorry to barge around like this. It's all right. My only other company fell asleep an hour ago. Or so I thought. <laughs> Excuse me a minute. Can I go? You'll have to ask your Auntie Rachel. Tell you what, why don't you go and read him a story? Burglar Bill normally does the trick. 
All right. OK. Thanks. Oh, you make it all look so easy. What? Oh, being a single mum, still working. I haven't got much choice, really. Neither of you. We just muddle along, make the best of it. Well, I'm not sure I'm doing a very good job. Of course you are. No, oh, Nick was such a wonderful father to her. I really feel like I'm letting him down. What makes you say that? I've always expected Alice to adapt to the way I live. You know, living above the tea rooms because it's handy. But she's missing out on her childhood. What could you do about it? I don't know. Find somewhere where she'd be happy. You know, a garden. A big bedroom where her friends can stay over. <laughs> what, hers or yours? Oh, definitely hers. I'm even thinking of getting a single bed. <laughs> oh, now, Cathy, don't do anything <laughs> rash. It might take you a while to find the right place. Yeah, I know. So, until you do, why don't you come and stay here? What, here? Yeah. <laughs> You'd be doing me a favour. Ready-made babysitter. <laughs> We'd have a wild time. All right, you're on. Sounds like we might be already. I'm sorry, Rachel. I had to come. I just couldn't sit there on my own. We need to talk. Um, Jack, Cathy's here. Oh, hi, Cathy. Thanks, Monday. Cheers, Mel. Keep the change, Monday. Oh, yeah. Leave Lara Spanier. Hey, eh? no. <laughs> oh, I'm telling you, it was brilliant. Just staying up all night and then watching the sun come up over the beach. It's the best holiday I've ever had. You know, you two should get away. You know, I think in all time we've known each other, me and Seth have never been out to Yorkshire. Aww. What's the point? Who needs my joker when we've got Scarborough right here on his own doorstep? When were you last in Scarborough? I don't have to go. Knowing I can go <laughs> is good enough for me. <laughs> like no, we don't like parting with his bit. All right, so you've made your point. You'll be back on site tomorrow at 8 o'clock sharp. Wanna bet? See? You've lost your skilled workforce, now you're left with your common labourers. I'm sorry, Marlon. Albert promises to pull his weight from now on, don't you? Aye. Aye. As long as the wind's not blowing from the north, south, east or west. That's unfair, that is. I'm not coming back. Well, are you going to earn a living, then? Yeah, you're not scrounging enough them who do an honest day's graph. I'm going to get a job. A proper one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, you can laugh now, yeah. But you won't be laughing when I'm bringing in a wage bigger than your wildest dreams. Fifty quid says you won't find proper work. You may as well give it me now. No, like I said, uh, it's nothing that can't wait. Problem with one of the sheep. We can discuss it in the morning. Right. So, uh, sorry to have disturbed you, Cathy. Have a nice evening. Oh, no worries. I'm going to go and check on Alice. Right, well, um, good night then, Jack. I'll see you tomorrow. I need to see you, Rachel. Not now. Look, I can't stand any more of this. It's driving me mad. Just go, will you? I need you, Rachel. I've got to be with you. Nothing else makes any sense. Jack. I want you. I'll give up everything for you if I have to. Just tell me you feel the same. I can't handle this anymore. Just go, will you? If you think anything of me at all, you'll just get out of my life. 